Ask me something, any question, I'll answer best I can. On October 28, 2017, Sam and I were both in our dear friend Ashley and Josh's wedding, and they had this adorable little flower girl named Hayden. Hayden was getting ready with us girls, and she and Sam immediately hit it off. I'm talking hung out all day, danced all night, and her handsome dad kept coming in to check on her. And I think all of us girls just watched this unfold with wide eyes. Ashley saw the vision and went to work. She played matchmaker that would lead to this incredible night, all started by an authentic, instant connection between Sam and Hayden, who I know Sam could never imagine life without now. Cause I don't want one thing to ever be between your heart and where I stand. When I stood by watching all that morning, you took me by the hand. When you make loving someone else a story of your life, there's never a final chapter because the legacy will always continue to grow. Today is day one and chapter one of your new life. A whole new book. Life will come at you quickly, cherish every moment together, and build a lifetime of memories and happy stories. But don't you ask me when I fell in love. No one answer ever captures all I'm thinking. I am so happy that you all are here at Seven Springs celebrating Ron and, and Samantha. It has been two years since they were engaged. It seems like four. <laughs> it's a lot of planning for a wedding if anybody else has done it, which I know you all have. The one thing I really, really want advice I want to give them before I say this um, is to spend all the time you can with each other and your kids. Well, we already have Hayden, so we're expecting more. <laughs> I, didn't give, I didn't give a number and Sandy didn't give a number, but we're... We're uh, okay with any. It's the candlelight dancing around the rooms. It's the first time that we pray. It's the words we've yet to say. But I feel them anyway with you. Sam and I go way back. We actually met in the 1900s. As we grew, we did so much together. We became inseparable. This young age is when I realized that no matter what, Sam was always there. So from college, our circles grew, and we each were finding our careers and places in the world. But our friendship continued to be a constant. She works harder than anyone I know and makes sure that her friends and family know she is there. Throughout the chaos of nursing school, grad school, and work, she's maintained and cultivated friendships. I know a lot of people in this room can speak to that, and everyone in this room is better for knowing Sam. Don't you ask me when I Ron, thank you for choosing me as your best man. Thank you for being my best friend in the past 15 years. I'm unbelievably happy for both of you and for both of you to find love and happiness. I always cherish the memories and laughs we shared, and I look forward to all the future ones to come. Sam, I'm not only Ron's best man, but I'm also yours. So I promise to always be there for you both and to always do anything imaginable to benefit your relationship. enough to go to college together at Duquesne University. We roomed together in the smallest storm humanly possible. It was so small that the only way we could fit in there is if we made our beds bunk beds. And Sam had the top bunk, I had the bottom, which thank God, because I began having these recurring, very realistic dreams of spiders in my bed. I would wake up in the middle of the night screaming and jump out of bed. 
and Sam, instead of saying, get out of here, you psychopath, would strip the sheets for me and inspect the bed to ensure that there were, in fact, no spiders in there. And like, who is doing that for someone at 3 a.m.? It just, it just goes to drive my point that Sam, in fact, was always there even when I don't deserve it. my attention I'm sinking or swimming I still find I'm just along for the ride We gather here this afternoon as family, friends, as a faith community to celebrate and rejoice in the marriage of Samantha and Love. We come here to celebrate this beautiful, personal, and unique love that brings them before the altar of God today. We celebrate, as I said, this beautiful, unique love that they have for each other. I'm inspired by the woman she is daily, and I know a lot of this came from her resilient, amazing parents, Allison and Tim. I know they are also so proud of the woman she has become, and I can see Tim shining through her every day, keeping his memory alive and well, and all that had the privilege of knowing him, definitely thank her for that. I got my bright ideas, shining on something new. I met Sam about eight years ago when I first met my now wife, Ashley. Um, I love Sam right away. She was funny, intelligent, outgoing, kind, and extremely carefree. She has been an amazing friend to my wife and an amazing role model to my daughters. I would love for them to emulate Sam, so just so you know, it's a great, you're a great role model, Sam. I can't put in the words how happy I am that you and Ron have come together the past few years. Some of you may not know this, but on this exact day six years ago, Father Pellis married me and my beautiful wife and the mother of my children. Uh, this day was the day Sam and Ron's love began and they officially met and I would give all the credit to Hayden. Ron, Sam, I wish you guys an eternity of love and happiness and here's to the Kellys. I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His church? I am. I am. One thing that my husband, the one thing he cherished was our Sunday meals. We always had a Sunday meal. Even when things got bad, we would constantly have our Sunday dinner, no matter what was going on. 
So I say cherish that, and I hope Ron and Sam would start that. And go to church every Sunday, too. I, Ronald, take you, Samantha, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Samantha, take you, Ronald, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I mean this so lovingly, Sam, but you were the pickiest person ever when it came to men. She never wanted to give anyone a chance, which is a good thing. You're a queen and should absolutely set high standards. But that's when I knew Ron was something special when she said, wait, I actually think I like him. Watching their love grow has been so fun. They complement each other perfectly. Ronald, receive this ring. Samantha, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It's my honor and pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ronald and Samantha Kelly Jr. Before I do a prayer, I just want to raise the glass to Sam's head. To him and all the other relatives and friends that couldn't be here with us physically, they're here in spirit with us. Lord God, creator for all things, we have gathered here to celebrate the love and commitment that have united Sam and Ron in the sacred bond of marriage. Bless the happy couple for a wonderful life. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen.
basically just a little something I wanted to do. It's like everyone knows mothers dedicate their whole bodies, minds, souls to their kids. Um, so unfortunately to all the single ladies out here, I won't be throwing my bouquet tonight. Um, I'm going to be dedicating my bouquet to my beautiful mother who did so much over the past two years to make this a living reality. And then I'm going to ask my mom to dance with me as well. always been able to go with the flow and support and motivation he's given Sam throughout her schooling and career to show what an excellent husband he will be to her. I've never seen her happier or more at peace and I genuinely could not be happier or more excited for my best friend to have found her perfect match. I wish you two a lifetime of love and happiness that I'm fully confident that you will have. 